for a second, I want you to pretend like you're a rock star and that you're on stage. What is going on? That is a wasteful use of resources. <laughs> Uh -huh. But hey, no, seriously. Uh, uh, words. Start over. Hey, I'm vlogging here. All right. I mean, just had dance class. Tell them what song you were doing your dance to. Just a spoonful of sugar. That's the medicine. Go down. But tap dance is. is it? Your tap dance was Jailhouse Rock. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Is that Elvis? I think it's Elvis. I could be wrong. No, I think it's Elvis. Yeah, that's Elvis. That's like classic Elvis, right? <laughs> this is a monumentous moment, as you may say. Would you grab that for me, toots? Mm-hmm. Okay, so let me explain what's going on here. I want and have said and have even written down as a life goal that I want to be able to play the guitar. I want to have that experience of making music and singing. I was just on my way back from Los Angeles recently and I watched on the in-flight entertainment a little documentary with Ed Sheeran where he played Wembley Stadium three nights in a row. Wembley Stadium holds 80,000 people. So in the course of 72 hours, him and his guitar were on stage in front of 240,000 people in three days. And I was like, how can that one dude just stand on that stage with a guitar and just control 80, you know what I'm saying? Like that's a powerful feeling. Not that I want to like play Wembley Stadium or anything, but like I want to feel what it feels like to like get into a song and be jamming out. And here's the thing, my whole life I've always had access to right-handed guitars. My dad played right-handed, my brother played right-handed, but any time that I ever air guitar, if you ever see me air guitar, I always do it left-handed but I've only ever played a right-handed guitar. So I thought to myself, I should force myself to learn on a left-handed guitar because I can play chords and a few songs on a right-handed guitar. I can play Bob Marley's redemption song. I don't, anyways, <laughs> you know, I have like a silent lucidity Queens Reich song I can kind of get. Thanks to Derek Miller for teaching me, but I've never really learned how to play the guitar mostly because it's like, you just got to put a lot of time into it. But, I have a hypothesis, sis, sis, because I am left-handed, I write left-handed, but I throw right-handed and I bat right-handed and I play the guitar right-handed, but I want to switch to a left-handed guitar. So that's what this is. This is a left-handed guitar. And this is the first day. This is day one, step one, in selling out Wembley Stadium three nights in a row. <laughs> <laughs> And this is a present from my love. Do you like it? Because I told her that I would like. Who gave you it? Who's my love? Oh. Yeah, that's her right there. That's me. That's me. Oh, see, look, that was weird. I went like this. Look, it's upside down. Yep. Because it's. That's gonna be hard. Already, I don't like this idea. Well, here's the thing. The guy at the store told me that it's actually sometimes an advantage for left-handed players to play right-handed because most of your strength needs to come from your left hand anyway. Like when you're pushing down on the chords. But I figured you should try it anyway. Dude, see, like, I, like all my life I've had a right-handed guitar. I should just force myself to do it though. Like this feels so foreign to me. But well, like when I air guitar, that's what I'm saying. Like think about that psychologically. Mm -hmm. As a little kid, like Brock, come here. I just want you to stand right here and for a second, I want you to pretend like you're a rock star and that you're on stage and that you're playing the guitar. Okay? And just for a second, go like, -na 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 -na, like a rock star. Okay? Ready? Go. So he plays the right hand. Right hand. Yeah. Okay. So for some reason, as a kid, <laughs> I always did that. And so whenever I joke around playing air guitar, I do it left-handed. But because I've only ever had right-handed guitars, now to like hold a guitar in my hand left-handed feels like, oh my gosh, how do you do that? So I'm gonna have to like relearn everything. Yeah. And I feel like my brain is wired to do it left-handed, so I should give it a chance and like just go through the patience and pain of learning left-handed. Well. So we'll try it. We'll see. You you can do it. Day one. No, ten minutes a day. That's all okay. it takes. Ten I'll minutes. Ten minutes a day. Ten minutes a day. I guarantee it. Until my birthday, March fifth. I'm gonna do ten minutes a day, and then I'll and I'm gonna play you guys a song left-handed on March fifth. Okay. 
Here like we go. To you. And it's not going to be a good song at all. <laughs> it might not even have chords in it. Or it might only have one chord in it. Uh -huh. But I will play you a song on my birthday with this left handed guitar. Because I'm going to be practicing 10 minutes a day. Wait, let me try to play a G chord and then we can go. See, I don't even know how to play a G chord. So a G chord this way, it's like that, right? I don't even know, man. I think that one. What is. Oh, I would have to hold it in my hand. I'm I know. horrible about doing that. <laughs> That's exciting. I'm excited for you. Hey, you know what though? If you decide to go to right-handed, it's probably to your advantage. Don't it's tell like me that. I want to make myself okay. learn left-handed. No, he's going to play a left-handed guitar. Ten minutes a day, March 5th, play you a song. Excellent. Okay, over now. You guys hear that? It's like hailing. It was raining, but now it's hailing outside. There's hail. Shh, listen. Okay, hey, I know, you're sick of me skiing. I don't care, I love it, ah ha ha. But, hey, no, seriously, uh, uh, ah, words. So start over, I'll probably edit all that out. No, I won't. Anyways, hi guys, skiing, nice, babe. It's February 22nd, this is late season, man, and it's good snow. Look at the trees, what? Oh, your goggles are fogged up? Oh, I hate when your foggles get gogged up. Come here, I'll degog them. When your foggles get gogged up, you gotta swipe the fog off the rear, the rear jog. Okay? <laughs> Come here, you goggle monster. I'm gonna foggle your goggles. Anyways, look at the snow. It's very nice. All right, let's see this, babe. You guys, I am seriously impressed with this young lass. She is showing quite potential. This is... I think her fourth time this year, and this is the big hill. We're on the big hill, and she is ripping, shredding, tucking, rucking, and roll, rolling. Look at her, getting her turns in. I'm so proud of her. We're skiing together, it's so much fun. Doing my best pastime with my best friend as I run her off the road. <laughs> Killing it, babe. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh man, I missed it. Okay, I'm tightening my goggles, this is ridiculous. Come here, let me help you. We're supposed to do that on the lift. It sucks when you're goggles. You know, it's like you get hot in there and you can't see. That's dangerous. Anyways, guys, she really is doing good. If her foggles weren't gogged up, then uh, she'd be skiing better. But that last run was like the best run she's ever done. Killing it, sister. Look at that huge tree. See, Clyde just went past it. The trunk is like four and a half feet around. How many years has this giant monster of a life sat here on this hillside and thought about the eternities. I bet you trees think. Trees are wise, old souls that stand here as sentinels to the past. I'm just trying to think of some cool dialogue to show over this awesome ski log. <laughs> this is a vlog. Dialogue over the ski log in the vlog. Yeah, 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 spinning around. Okay, let's get some, uh... oh, she ate it. You all right? Babe, should we get some zoom action in here? You guys listen, this camera has is a multi-faceted, talented camera. <laughs> There's cool. <Colette. laughs> you alright? Baby doll. Darling! She's getting it. Last run she was killing it. Do those turns. Be aggressive. Get it. There you go. Here you go. So proud of her. Gotta get out, try new things. I just said, I wanna pinch your bum. Good. Proud of you. She'll be skiing down the mountain when she comes. She'll be skiing down the mountain when she comes. She'll be skiing down the mountain. She'll be skiing down the mountain. She'll be skiing down the mountain when she comes. Here she comes. These neon fence markers let you know to not go out of bounds. Hey, baby. <laughs> Why is it always getting going that I have the hardest 
Yeah, it's you just got to get brave on that first turn. I know it looks steep, but you just got to use the gravity and wedge those edges into the mountain and feel the burn as it rip, roar, and runs. Okay, <laughs> coach. I'm a poet, ski I think coach. You need to move. Okay, that's Colette's, that's Colette's solution to everything. I'm in the way. I'm always in the way. Here she goes. Woo! There she goes. See, she's killing it. I told you. <laughs> hey guys, we are shopping. I've got the kids. Oh wait, slow down. You girls, slow down there. Oh, I have a blinking battery already. <laughs> well, we'll just have to make it quick. We are looking. We're, no, we're not. No. I'm just looking. This is but not what we're buying. Really that is huge. Is. Oh my gosh. That'd be handy though. Sometimes you want a really big screen. Okay, we made it back. I'm sorry you guys didn't get. <laughs> I'm sorry that you did not get to see shopping footage because it was a blast. We had a great time, but I let the camera die because I didn't charge it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But we also got a new camera. So we'll both, Shay and I will both have a camera now. So hopefully we'll get some more footage. But I got all my babies in the car. Hi. Hi. Shopping was fun, wasn't it? We had a good time. So much help. He's going to be so hyped. He's gonna be so hyper. Yeah, he had a little, he had some Valentine's from his nursery, so he's having a blast with that. Anyways, so, okay, I'll show you guys once we get all the stuff in the house, but we're starting to do Meatless Monday again, and I'm thinking about possibly doing Meatless Monday and Thursday. I'm gonna start with Meatless Monday and see if I can like get enough recipes under my belt so that we can move to two days a week doing Meatless. It's just for dinner, like, I don't know, whatever the kids eat for lunch at school is fine, but we're just doing like dinner time and it's Meatless. So fun. All right, it's time for dinner. We've got our soup ready. And we have not put all the groceries away, so it's kind of crazy in here right now. Hey, babe. You are gonna regret getting the wood floors. Why? Because me and my son, Gavin, yeah, we're gonna be balling. Well, I think that's why we got wood floors. Dude. Oh, that was <laughs> stayed up there. Locked in. Yeah, that's the attitude to have, babe, right there. That's so why we you. got wood floors. So I love you. Seriously. Let me be a ridiculous 12 year old. Especially when you live in a place where there's winter time. Yep. Cabin fever, that's what I blame it on. Sweet. Wait, don't don't smash the bowls. Okay, let's eat. Kids, it's time to eat. You guys ready to eat? Daxton Butler almost, what are you doing? What is going on? That is a wasteful use of resources. Yeah, why? This. Why did you have to destroy this? Hmm? Yeah, that's what you did. You said, look at this perfectly useful roll of toilet paper. Let me destroy it. What are you trying to explain to us in interpretive dance? Why you destroyed that perfectly good roll of toilet paper? Oh, oh, I see now. Okay, you had something on your hand. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> Daxton! What's up, dude? What do you want to see? Oh, right. I was going to show you here. Look. Okay. I was going to show you this picture of your buddy. Who's that? Spider. Bodie. Who? Um, Spider-Man. And who else? And Bodie. Yeah. That's your buddy Bodie. Guess who Spider-Man is? Anybody know? Or who's Tricks and Spider-Man? He does birthdays. This looks like a delicious, healthy soup and sushi dinner with some bread, <laughs> crusted bread with Parmesan cheese encrusted on the top. Is it Parmesan? What is that? Are you guys my beatbox crew? Do you have a Parmesan rapture? Dude, I have a Parmesan beatbox crew. What other dad has a Parmesan cheese beatbox crew? Whoa, 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 wait, 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 whoa, 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 is what we're saying over here. Mr. Dinosaur Face. Yo, Brock, what'd you learn at school today? Healthy food. What's healthy food, Brock? Apples. Apples are healthy. What else? Oranges. Mm-hmm. Um, Study your homework, bud. All right. Pineapple's good, delicious. All right. All them fruits. Okay, we eaten. I'm hungry. Peaches, bro. Oh, hey, it's Monday night. Do you guys know what Monday night means? Anybody, anybody? It's family home evening night. Let's hear it. Woo! Very serious.
seriously, we have some new mottos, some new rules, some new let's all recommit ourselves to a cleanliness is next to godliness type atmosphere. Check it out, check it out, check it out. One time, here, look. Okay, we have decided that everybody is stressed out because the house is a mess. Clean house, number one rule. If, if we all just worked harder to do this just one thing, this house would be 80% cleaner. And listen, I don't even have like the final research studies back, but I could guarantee 80% results. If we just did not throw our stuff on the floor, it would be that much cleaner. But we have two more rules. Number two rule is more of a principle. It's like a, a motto, a way to live. It's called the start to finish principle. When you start something, finish it. Oh, whoops, the daisy. What's going on over here? Arts and crafts. And then it just gets left there. Brock, you writing Valentine's to your girlfriend? What are you doing? I love you, buddy. Rule number three, do a kind deed. When you see something on the floor that's not yours, put it away anyways, guys. Like, I don't care if you didn't put it there. The house still needs to get cleaned. Pick it up, yo. New rules. We're gonna work to live by them. Obviously, there's a lot of work to do with seven people under one roof. Hey, Stefan Curry, get over here and start washing dishes instead of breaking ankles, all right? Thank you, what? What's that? You can color on here, see? Oh, cool. Oh, wow. I colored on this thing. That's awesome. Do that again. Dude, that's neat. I like that. That's cool. That is a team player right there. Okay, so we're all working. We have music on. And me. Cool fruit right here, but first I have to clean. Off. Good. What is it, guys? Many hands. What? Oh, just like a brainwashed child should say. <laughs> Many hands make light work. It makes sense. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Many hands make light work. Yes. Is that a weird thing to say about the brainwash? <laughs> I'm riding on an electronic two wheeled device. Nothing's crazy in this day and age. I sit down at my computer to see what you have done so far today. It's just nice. Family being good to each other.